Hi, my name is Tina Johnson. We're going to do some uh, total hockey yoga for your body today. Get into all the areas of body, do a little bit of core, a little bit of flow. We're going to start off though just warming up uh, your hamstrings and the backs of your legs. So starting off just lying on your back, have a strap or go grab one, belt, whatever will work for you for today. So starting off on your back, you can Keep your left leg bent to start. Take that strap around your right leg, right around the ball of your foot. You're gonna slide your hands down the strap, allowing your shoulders to come into the mat. And then you're just gonna like point and flex those toes. Just pointing up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your toes back. So inhale, pointing up. Exhale, drawing your toes back. Doing one more like that. And then this time just taking a nice deep bend to your knee. So lifting your foot up towards the ceiling. Just getting into your upper hamstring a little bit more. Again, trying to relax your shoulders. So at this point in time, you can take this left leg long if this is comfortable for you. If it's too tight to do that, go ahead and keep this deep bend. Take a couple nice deep breaths in here. Inhale, and then exhale, you're gonna straighten out this leg. Take both of those straps into your right hand. Let that strap fall over to the right. You're gonna keep this left hip down onto the ground, allow this right leg to fall out to the side. Right here, again, you're just gonna point and flex those toes a couple of times. So inhale, pointing, exhale, reaching your toes back towards your face. Inhale, point, exhale, reach back. Doing that about five times. And then once you're done, you're gonna bring that leg all the way back to the center. Switch both those straps into your left hand, reaching your left hand as far as you can onto that strap. Right arm's gonna come out to the side. You're gonna roll all the way over onto your left side. Taking that leg right across your body into a full twist. And then once again, point and flex those toes, trying to separate your toes. It's gonna kind of work those muscles off of each other. Getting right into your IT along the outside edge of your calf. Don't worry how close that foot is up towards your face. That will, of course, intensify the stretch, but maybe bring that leg a little bit further down away from you and allow that leg to be a little straighter. Then slowly coming all the way back up to center. Just bend that left knee, take that right ankle, place it on top of your left knee putting that edge of your foot to your knee, interlace those hands behind your left hamstring. Take a couple breaths here. And then slowly releasing that left leg, bring that right foot down, take that strap onto your left foot. So again, right underneath that ball to mount of your left foot, sliding those elbows down. Relaxing your neck and your traps, relax your facial muscles, and then pointing and flexing. Pointing those toes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your toes back down. Inhale, pointing. Exhale, flexing back. Inhale, pointing up. Exhale, reaching those toes back. One more time. And then taking both those straps into your left hand, allowing that, those straps to fall over to the left. You can take that left leg out to the side, straighten that right leg out. Allow that right shoulder to relax down. And then pointing and flexing. This is great for you guys that have your feet in skates all the time. Lengthen out that Achilles. Once more, and then bringing that leg all the way back up towards the ceiling, reaching in that right arm up to hold that strap closer towards your foot. Left arm up to the side, rolling over onto your right side. So trying to keep that left leg nice and straight though. So you might need to 
back off a little bit if you got a little aggressive and then pointing and flexing those toes pointing and then flexing back maybe trying to separate those toes at the same time and you reach those toes back towards your face One more time. And then slowly rolling back up to center, bending that right foot back onto the mat, taking that left ankle onto that right knee, interlacing your hands behind that right hamstring, allowing those shoulders to relax down and taking a few breaths. So really allowing your exhale breath to be twice as long as your inhale. Just allowing your body to absorb Take one more nice deep breath in, and then exhale, release. Just take both of your feet wide to the outer edges of your mat. Go ahead and windshield wiper those knees a couple of times. Just loosen up that lower back, your sacrum. And then the next time you're kind of on your right side, just roll around your right side. Make your way up. You're gonna make your way all the way up to standing. Just bend your knees, kind of roll up, roll those shoulder blades back. We're just going to start off just rolling out your shoulders a little bit. So I'm going to have you lift your shoulders up towards your ears, bring them forward, down, and back. Do a couple shoulder rolls this way. And then working backwards. So inhaling them up, exhale, bringing them back, sliding them down your back. So forward, up, back, and down. And then take that right arm across your body. And then just adding a little neck stretch, you're gonna lean your head over to the left. Drop your right shoulder away from you. Take a couple breaths in. And then coming back up to center, just switching sides. Holding on to that left arm just above the elbow. Or you can hold. You can even hold it this way, but maybe use that arm right wrapped around there. And then take your neck over to the right. Taking a couple breaths. Inhale, then exhale, release. Release those hands. So maybe interlacing your hands behind your back. Or if your arms are a little tight, you're going to hold on to that strap. Soften your knees and fold forward. Take a couple breaths in here. Just allowing your arms to fall overhead, breathing into the backs of your legs again. Take one more nice deep breath in, and then exhale. Just move that strap off to the side. Release your arms down, roll all the way up vertebrate by vertebrate. We're gonna inhale those arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, go ahead and take them wide as you fold forward. We're gonna slide your hands onto your shins. You're gonna lengthen out through your spine, drawing the crown of your head to the front of the room. Exhale, you're gonna fold forward, bending your knees, knees, fingers beside your toes. Take a nice big step back with your right foot. Right knee is gonna come down. We're gonna allow those hips to sink. Pull your belly button in. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, release those hands down. Tuck that back toe under, step into down dog. We're just gonna lift those heels up towards the ceiling. Exhale, press those heels down to the mat. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, press them back. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, press them back. And then rock forward to a plank. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then you're slowly gonna come down, elbows right at your sides, lowering all the way down to the ground. Come onto the tops of your feet. Add a little cobra. So you're gonna inhale, lift up. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, release back down. We're gonna tuck those toes under. We're gonna work your body a little bit. So glue those shoulder blades on your back, tuck your toes under, lift your knees from the mat, engaging your quads. Reverse push yourself up into a plank, back into down dog. Take a nice big step forward with your right foot. Left knee is gonna come down. Hips are gonna drop, pull that belly button in, arms are gonna reach up. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, bring those hands back to the front of your mat. 
step back to the front. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, sink that weight into your heels. You're gonna lift your arms up, pulling your belly button in. Take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale, stand all the way up. Release those arms back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, nice and wide, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Draw the crown of your head to the front of the room. Exhale, fold forward, bend those knees. Step back with your left foot this time. This time we're gonna keep it nice and long, press back through that back heel. Draw those shoulder blades back. Take a nice deep breath in here, and then exhale, you're gonna come right into plank. Right foot to meet your left. Rock yourself forward, lower all the way down to the ground. Come onto the tops of your feet. This time you're gonna lift your hands. So you're gonna do a little bit of cobra, a little bit of back strengthening at the same time. Take a nice deep breath in, then exhale, release. Tuck those toes back under, we're gonna do reverse plank. Back in a down dog. Take two nice deep breaths in here. Inhale, and then exhale, left foot forward between your hands. Coming into that runner's lunge, press back to that back leg, shoulder blades onto your back, nice and strong through your core. Take a nice deep breath in here, and then exhale back to the front of the mat. Sink that weight into your heels. You're gonna come into chair pose. Inhale, and then exhale, press all the way up. Exhale, those hands back down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Bend those knees, fingers beside your toes. Nice big step back with that right foot. Lengthen out through that back leg again. This time you're gonna lift up. So you're gonna use your core, you're gonna lift up. Hands are gonna reach back. Palms are gonna face down. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then exhale, hands are gonna come to the side. We're gonna lift all the way up into three-legged dog. Left leg is gonna reach all the way up towards the ceiling. You can stay high on those back toes. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then exhale, you're gonna rotate and come on to the outer edge of your right foot, sliding that left foot on top into side plank. Take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale, rotate into regular plank. Rock yourself a little forward, slide all the way down to the floor. Just in a cobra pose, inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, folding forward. So if you cannot do this reverse plank, you're just gonna come onto your hands and your knees, swing yourself back up in a down dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling, right leg is gonna lift up towards the ceiling. So back in that three-legged dog. Reach through those arms, keep that outer edge of your left foot strong. Roll over on the outer edge of your left foot. Right foot is gonna slide on top. Right arm's gonna reach up. Take a nice deep breath in. Whoops. Inhale, and then exhale, release back into plank. Rock yourself forward all the way down to the ground again. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, release. Reverse plank, all the way up, back into down dog. Take a nice big step forward with that right foot. Lengthen through that left heel. Keep this left quad nice and strong. Shoulder blades on your back, belly button lifted in. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, then exhale, release those hands down. Step that right foot back to meet your left. Come down on your hands and your knees. We're gonna do a couple cat and cow. A little breather in between. Inhaling to look up, you're gonna allow that curve to your lower back. Exhale, round. So you're gonna roll up vertebrate by vertebrate. Inhaling again to look up. So knees should be hip distance apart. So widen your stance just a little bit. Looking up, exhale, rounding out. One more time, inhaling to lift up. Exhale, rounding all the way out. Really pulling that belly button up to your back ribs, really pushing the floor away with your hands. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, left foot forward between your hands. Inhaling those arms up. Exhaling, bringing those hands down, bringing them in alignment with your left toes. Tuck that right foot under, rotate that right foot to the side. We're gonna come into warrior two. So making sure those back toes are rotated in a little bit. Have a little glance at your left knee, making sure that it's stacked nice and straight. 
Right hand is going to reach back and slide onto the inside, just lightly of your right leg. Left palm is going to face you. You're going to lift it up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. Don't lose your lunge. Exhale. Rotate those hands all the way down. Come back into your lunge. Your right hand is going to stay down. Left arm is going to reach up towards the ceiling. Stay here, then flex both outer edges of your feet. And take a couple breaths. So you're going to breathe in the outer edges of your legs. One more nice deep breath in. Then exhale, rotate all the way back. Step back into down dog. Take a couple more nice deep breaths in here. Just relaxing your traps. Breathe wide across your ribs. It's kind of like your little recovery pose here. Take a nice deep breath in and then right foot forward between your hands, left knee down. Inhaling those arms up. Nice deep breath in, exhale, releasing back down. Tuck that back foot under, rotate it to the side. Maybe bring those toes forward a little bit. Back into warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in here. Left hand is gonna come to the inside of that left leg. Right palm is gonna face you. Pull your belly button in, reach back. Nice deep breath in here, exhale, rotate those hands all the way back around, right into your lunge. Left hand is going to stay down, right arm is going to reach up. Get that back leg nice and strong, rotate on the outer edges of both of your feet. Press up, take a couple breaths. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Step all the way back to the front of your mat. Walk your feet together to touch. You're gonna to sink that weight into your heels. You're gonna come into that chair pose. And then you're gonna bring your hands into prayer position. You're gonna take your left elbow over to your right side. Draw that right shoulder away from your ear. Take a couple breaths. Inhale, and then exhale, release, coming back to center. And then switch sides. Lengthen up through your spine. Draw that left shoulder away from your ear. Couple breaths here. Inhale, exhale back to center. Slowly release. Walk your feet a little bit wider, wider than the hip distance apart. And then allow yourself to hang. Reach and hold on to your opposite elbows, letting your head be nice and loose. You can even sway a little like a pendulum side to side. So you can kind of move your hips even side to side. And then come to center, just take a couple breaths. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Walk your feet back to hip distance apart. Bend your knees, roll all the way up vertebrate by vertebrate. Rolling those shoulder blades back, pulling your belly button in. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. So it's a half lift. Exhale, fold forward, fingers beside your toes. Nice big step back for that right foot. You're gonna press back to those back toes. This time you're going to bend your knee a little bit and then lift yourself up. Hands can stay on your hips or you can reach up towards the ceiling. Keeping those lower ribs kind of tucked under then press and reach back to your right heel. Take another nice deep breath in here and then exhale those hands back down. We're gonna rotate that right foot to the side again. Make your way back up to standing. Back into that warrior two. And then we're gonna straighten that front leg. You can keep this knee soft, reach forward with that left hand, right arm up towards the ceiling into triangle. So right leg is gonna be nice and straight. You're gonna rotate this right hip point down a little bit. Kevin, just bring your right toes and rotate them in even more. Perfect. Kind of tucking that left glute under, straighten this left leg a little more. And then keep that and bring your right hands. So you're going to do reverse triangle. Lifting up. Take another nice deep breath in. Then exhale, windmill those arms all the way around. You're going to keep this right foot nice and strong. You're going to step back. You're going to come into side plank. Here you're going to drop your hips down towards the ground and then lift them back up, extending that arm overhead. Lift and drop those hips down to the mat. Exhale, bring them back up. One more time. And back up. I will give you an option for this. You can stack one foot behind the other. Rotate back into plank. 
Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale all the way to the floor. Inhale, lengthen up into Cobra. Take another nice deep breath in here. Exhale, release. Tuck those toes back under. Come back into Down Dog. Take two nice deep breaths in here. Maybe shake out your head. Inhale, and then exhale, right foot forward between your hands. Pressing back to that back heel. This time you're gonna soften that knee, pull that belly button in, lifting up. Hands again can come onto your hips or all the way up. And then press out through that back heel as much as feels comfortable. Take one more nice deep breath in. Then exhale, hands are gonna come down. We're gonna rotate that foot to the side. You're gonna come into warrior two just for a brief moment and then straighten that front leg, coming into triangle pose. Rotating forward, drawing that right arm on to that chin, lifting up, licking up that left thumb. Take a breath in here, then left hand towards your back leg. Right palm is gonna face you. Keep that back leg nice and straight. Reach back, pull that belly button in. Inhale, then exhale, windmill those arms all the way down. Keep this left foot nice and strong. We're gonna reach, step back into side plank again. Right arm's gonna reach up. Again, you're gonna drop those hips down to the ground and lift them back up. Drop those hips down, lift them back up, extend that arm overhead. Drop those hips, extend overhead. Rotate back around into plank. Rock yourself forward. Come down onto your forearms. So from here, I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And then we're gonna rotate onto the inner edge of your right foot, outer edge of left. Rotate back to the opposite side. Rotate back. Rotate back. One more time each side. And then coming back to center, hand where your elbow was, Hand where your elbow was. Come back into down dog. Come down onto your knees. Child's pose. This is where you gotta take a few breaths. So just allowing your shoulders to relax, your hips to relax. Slowing everything down. A couple nice deep breaths in. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Come back up onto your hands and your knees. Left foot is gonna come forward between your hands again. It's gonna switch sides. You're gonna rotate this right foot to the side. You're gonna make your way into standing. So we're gonna do triangle pose, but with some strength. So right toes are gonna to rotate in a little bit. Arms are gonna come nice and wide. And then you're gonna reach forward. Hands gonna come down to that leg. Right arm is gonna reach up. And then it's gonna reach overhead towards the front of the room. Then you're gonna pull your belly button in. You're gonna use the strength in your legs. And then take that left arm off of that leg. And then reach. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, release those arms. We're gonna do half moon pose. So you can kind of come into your lunge first. Left hand is going to be in alignment with the outer edge of your left toes. You're gonna lift up, rotating that foot to the side. Maybe just bringing that hand onto your hip. If that feels okay for you, then you're gonna work on bringing this arm up towards the ceiling. You can flex this back foot, keeping this back leg nice and straight and strong. If you have a prop, you can use a prop underneath that left hand, make it a little easier. And then slowly rotate all the way back down into a lunge. Step back into down dog. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then right foot is gonna need to step forward between your hands. Rotate that left foot to the side, bring those left toes in a little bit, back into triangle. You're gonna reach forward with that right hand. It's gonna slide down onto your shin. Left arm is gonna reach forward towards the front of the room this time. 
working on some side body strength. And then right arm is going to reach as well. Take a couple breaths. Pull that belly button in, reaching. One more nice deep breath in. Then exhale, rotate all the way back around into your lunge. Right hand is going to come forward. Out edge, outer edge of your right pinky toe. Lifting up, pull that belly button in. Maybe hand will come onto hip. You can stay glancing at the ground. That's easiest for balance. Or looking sideways. Next step would be arm up towards the ceiling. And even looking at the ceiling. Take one more nice deep breath in. And exhale, slowly release. <laughs> even though I'm losing my balance a little bit. Right foot back to meet your left, back in a down dog. Come all the way back in child's pose. Come all the way down. Allow yourself to relax. Take one more nice deep breath in here. And then exhale slowly sitting all the way up. Just finishing off, we're just going to take that right elbow on top of your left. Give yourself a little stretch. You can even hug here. And then round a little bit forward. Slowly come all the way up. Release your arms. If you can, you're going to try to catch and wrap. If not, you're going to hold. And then just round your back, fold forward. Inhale. Exhale, release. Making your way over onto your butt. Swing your legs out in front of you. Coming onto your back. So you're going to kind of press your lower back into the mat. Lift your feet up. Hands are going to come at your sides. You're going to do a little bit of canoe pose. You're going to glance at your toes. Hold. You might shake. Take a couple nice deep breaths in. And then slowly release. And completely allow yourself to relax as your toes roll out. Let your shoulders relax back. Let yourself soften. Just absorbing your practice for today. It's just thanking your body for all your hard work. Allow yourself some time to also lounge and enjoy a little bit of Shavasana. Have a great day. Hey, if you enjoyed that hockey yoga video, you gotta check out our Hockey Skills Accelerator membership. We've got more hockey yoga videos, hockey follow along workouts, stick handling workouts you can do at home and follow along to. Bunch of cool stuff in there. I'll leave a link in the comment section below. Go check it out. Till next time guys, train hard.